Alright, um, religion. Uh, kind of a sore subject for me now. I don't know whether it's been teenage mood swings or the last couple of grueling weeks at school, but I'm kind of exhausted to the point where I, where I really don't want to talk about the great mysticisms of Roman Catholicism. I was born and raised Roman Catholic, but I gotta be honest, I really don't have much faith in the Roman Catholic Church as a as an entity on earth. I just don't take everything that gets shot out of the Vatican or out of priest's mouth as holy writ. Don't get me wrong, I'm down with the whole core beliefs of Christianity, I mean, the morals and everything, but uh, I know, the Roman Catholic Church has just been wrong too many times for me to take everything it says literally and as truth. I mean, I really don't like it when people take stuff like the Bible completely literally. I can honestly not say that I totally believe, or believe at all, uh, the story of Adam and Eve, or Noah on the Ark, or those kind of stories that appear early in the Bible, in the, in the Pentateuch. You might be able to take them figuratively, and use them as moral stories, but I really think they're nothing more than similar stories to stuff like how the Native Americans explain the creation of the world, well, some tribes explain it as being on a giant turtle's back. Or stuff like that, just stories fabricated to explain natural phenomena that people back then just didn't understand. Rainbows and thunderstorms and death and so on and so forth. Native Americans, hell, every religion has stories like that, past and present. Who are Roman Catholics or anyone to be so pompous and arrogant that they say, well, no, 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 only we're, we're right. You guys are all wrong. We don't have any more proof than you do, but, but we're right. Pride is the cardinal sin, and that's what I see that as. So if you're going to take that literally, you might as well take pride as a sin literally. And then what do you have? Uh, but enough dogma and contradiction. Actually, uh, speaking of dogma, uh, I think I want to share one of my favorite quotes from said Kevin Smith movie. Now, that might not be the most reliable place for a quote concerning something as seriously taken as religion, but I really thought this quote which I'm just going to paraphrase, I think it really applies well and it's, it has a lot of truth to it. It goes something like, ideas are better than beliefs because you can change ideas. Beliefs are set in stone and whenever someone disagrees with them, you have a problem. And that's how I like to think. I think it's just kind of too arrogant and prideful and just kind of boneheaded and dumb to just flat out believe that you're right all the time especially since the church has been wrong so many times. The earth being flat? Anyone? I mean, it, I think it took the Roman Catholic Church until... I think it might have been the 90s for them to officially declare the world around. So, I'm not going to trust them for a lot of stuff. Call that blasphemy? I don't care. Religion, in itself, wasn't created by whatever this omniscient, omnipresent, omnipotent being is that we call God. Religion was pretty much created by man. About God, but by man. And as we all know, time and time again, man errs. So, who's to say religion doesn't have a couple mistakes in it, no matter what religion it is? Who's to say it's not completely wrong if it's just man doing it? I mean, the Bible might have been inspired by God, or maybe not inspired by God, let's assume it is. But, Regardless, man wrote it, so there's bound to be a couple mistakes. I mean, the Bible's pretty sexist, it doesn't mention many women by names, it kind of makes them unimportant, but that's not to say that they are unimportant, it's just that's the way it was written. I mean, the, if anything, at the most, assuming that the Bible is right in everything, which I really disagree with, assuming that, even so, it's only one mirror on this perspective of what happened back then. Eh, eh, I'll leave, I'll leave that how it is. You, you just interpret that how you'd like to. Regardless, I think the Bible, for the most part, is a good guideline on how, how to live a life well as a nice person. And don't you think, if there's a God of some kind, don't you think at bare minimum he'd want you be, to be a nice person? I mean, forget all the praying and going to church and ritual. I'm pretty sure there's no God out there that wants you to be a bad person. So... That's how I try to live my life. I try to be a good person, and I hope that by being a good person, good things will happen to me. And furthermore, I, I just think it's kind of comforting to think 
that there's some sort of big guy upstairs who uh, is looking out for you all the time. And if you do good in life, then you get to live forever chilling with him in some awesome place. So, compare that to just thinking you're put on this earth, you're going to die, your body's going to rot, and you'll just not exist anymore. The second one seems a lot more melancholy, don't you think? It's a lot nicer to think of the first one, and it puts my mind at ease. So, uh, whatever gets me to sleep at night, right? I mean, I'm not implying that I'm totally right about any of these things. I'm not here to be the one who gets it right in terms of religion. I'd just like to know what is right, so if anyone has a better idea than I do, I'll happily accept it, because I just want to know why we're here. I don't want to be the person who figures it out, per se. That'd be nice, but I just want to know. So, uh, at least I hope what I said here stimulates someone's mind into thinking a little about all the stuff that is religion and creation and evolution and blah, 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 blah. Whew. Well, that's, uh, my beliefs in a nutshell. And, uh, needless to say, I only covered but a smidgen of my thoughts. So, uh, if anyone comments on this and, uh, kind of fills in something that I failed to mention or something I said that doesn't make sense, I'll be happy to elaborate in comments and whatnot. So, uh, eh, that's about it. See ya.